What's up everyone? Boy, do I have a story for you. This story is gonna be relevant to all business owners, small business owners, uh, especially uh, trades, uh, business owners, you know, electrical companies, small engine repair, HVAC, plumbing, etc., etc. Um, basically, I am, uh, I might be out, I might lose like 9,000 bucks because of the situation that I'm about to tell you about. Not my fault at all. I did everything I was supposed to do. Um, there is something that I'm going to do now um, because of this situation. I'm going to be a little bit more on top of it. Um, but let me go ahead and tell you what happened. Um, it's a little confusing, so let me just give you a little heads up. You know, I do generators. I've got contracts for surgery centers. Um, I've got two contracts with the same company doing one location um, in West Palm, in Palm Beach Gardens and one in Miami. They are the regional, their company is Regional Surgery Center and they just have, you know, either Palm Beach Gardens in front of Regional, so Palm Beach Gardens Regional Surgery Center, Miami Regional Surgery Center, Hollywood Regional Surgery Center, okay? And her name uh, that, well, that doesn't matter actually. So anyhow, I've got two contracts with that company and the lady that I speak to all the time is who approves the quotes that I uh, send her. They, re the regional company had just hired a life safety like uh, company to overlook all of life safety, which involves either, you know, the generator making sure that all the um, inspections and monthly tests are being done and let's say that his name is Gary and then we can even say the the lady I get the quotes from that works for regional let's say her name is Melissa so I end up talking to Gary a lot because he's involved with the company, the regional company, and uh, he does the, you know, he keeps track of the generators, and he has actually basically given me a location, right? So he reaches out, <laughs> Melissa's in the email, he goes, hey, are you doing this location down in Miami yet? Uh, and I said, no, I'm doing this location, which is the Miami Regional. He says, okay, here, well, uh, we need a quote for a load bank and a annual PM, which is oil change, oil filters. Give him the quote, you know, with the load bank and everything and, and you know, a shit ton of oil, it ended up being like almost 2000 bucks. Um, and so... He writes a new email. You know, I send him the quote. I have Marielle in the email. And I have him in the email. And so right off the rip, he basically fucked up and thought that, I, I don't know how, but he thought that Marielle, the regional company, owned the location that he wanted me to give him a quote on to do the oil change and the uh, load bank. That place is just called Miami Surgery Center. So it starts getting a little confusing kind of. So there's Miami Surgery Center and then there's Miami Regional Surgery Center. I do the Miami Regional. That's what Melissa's in charge of. That's what she can quote and approve on. And so Le Gary asks for a quote for the Miami Surgery Center. 
mind you, Melissa should have been like, well, why aren't you saying regional in there? I think she just figured, okay, you know, Miami Surgery Center, it's the Miami Surgery Center that, um, you know, we're getting the quote on. And, um, but that's not the case. So anyhow, quote them for the load bank and the oil change. Like I said, what, almost two grand. Then they ended up having a water pump leak. Mind you, it's a surgery center. They cannot not have the generator. That's a failing, that's really big, no, no. They either need a rental or they need to have their generator working. So anyways, that water pump was selling for like five grand, four grand on, um, on a lot of websites. So I get it lowered a little bit. I get a better price than what you were seeing online. Give them the quote. I include Marielle or Melissa. Marielle's a different person. And Gary. And it's like almost six grand, right? So Melissa approves it. Because at this point, Gary thinks it's owned by regional. I think it is. And Melissa just thinks that it's Miami Regional Surgery Center that we're referring to. So she approves it. So she's approved like a $2,000 job and almost a $6,000 job. Um, and so... I go do the jobs. I changed out the water pump. And um, I'm load banking like just a couple of days ago. And I leave after the load bank. Everything was fine. I get a call like two hours later from a random number. And she's like, hey, are you portable, you know, generator services? I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, I just had my generator company stop by to do their contracted work and they said that it was already done by you I don't know you I've never approved anything who are you why is your company sticker on my generator so here I am I'm like this fucking idiot like do you not know Melissa do you not know Gary and so she's like I've never heard of a Melissa and so Melissa's like top dog She's known. She's managed like four of the locations. Like everyone knows Melissa. And so I'm like, all right, well, this is just really weird. Um, and she's like, oh, you must have just got like the wrong generator. I'm like, no, I, I checked the serial numbers that were provided to me from Gary. Gary's the one that wanted me to quote the job. He wanted me to take care of it um, and do it. And so... He sent me the info. I checked it all. I have pictures of it. I confirmed it in my phone. I look at it. I said, no, this is the, the unit. And anyhow, so I'm like, so she doesn't know Melissa, you know? And I'm like, that's really strange. And um, it obviously just so happens to be that the lady that called me, who's, you know, in charge of the Miami Surgery Center, her name is like Ina which is the same similar ass name that Melissa's, uh, the new person that's gonna be running the Miami Regional Surgery Center, is, uh, her name's very similar to that. So anyways, she doesn't know Melissa. I say, do you know SeaTech, the life safety company, Gary? And she's like, yes, I do know Gary, but Gary's only supposed to swing by like every so often and just make sure everything looks good. He hasn't even talked to me. He hasn't asked me for any approvals. And, um, and I'm like, oh, that's really weird. Like, what the hell? And so she's like, I'm going to call SeaTech. I say, okay, let me know. Hang up. I call uh, Gary instantly. I'm like, dude, something's weird. Giving you a heads up. This lady bitched at me saying that she didn't approve nothing for Miami Surgery Center. And he's like, oh, that's weird. Like, you know, 
I and I'm like, well, what's going on? He's like, I don't know. Like, I just usually, you know, I've been going through Melissa. Like, I asked Melissa for uh, the approval and, and whatnot. Think here he is still thinking that Melissa is in charge of this location and that Palm Beach region or the regional company owns this location. I'm still thinking it too. I'm like, oh man, all right, well, that's weird. I'm gonna talk to Melissa and let her know what's going on. Um, that lady over at the surgery center just must be a freaking idiot. You know, I'm like, this girl is so dumb. Like, how do you not know Melissa? <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm on the phone. I finally talked to Melissa, gives me a call, and I'm talking to her, and I'm like, you know, this lady says she doesn't know you. You know, her name's like Ina, and he, she's like, Ida is about to become the new DON of the Miami regional place. And I'm like, well, why doesn't she know you? You know, and she's like, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm going to write an email. I'll put you in it, and uh, we'll just, you know, clear it up. I'll put down the quote that we had to approve it because it was an emergency, and you'll be good to go. And I'm like, all right. And I was like, well, and I had the load bank. I was load banking last night. I did Miami Regional, and then I did Miami Surgery Center. And she's like, well, why are you telling me about Miami Surgery Center? I only do regional. Regional is the only places that I do. If it doesn't have the name regional, it's not ours. And then, bam, just like a light bulb, I'm like, what? And it all clicked, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And so, basically, Gary, somehow, some way, was not, I don't know how he got the job for Miami surgery, if he was emailed about it, or if he got it, I don't know. But he didn't remember and have it documented that Miami Surgery Center is a whole different company um, and not related to regional surgery center at all. So he, he fucked up, right? So anyhow, Melissa fucked up because she's so busy and she just assumed that we were cutting corners being like, instead of having to type out Miami Regional Surgery Center. We just did Miami Miami Surgery Center. And so she approved the quotes that I'm sending her and Gary. They have the address on them that she should have been like, that's not the right address, but it's ultimately not her fault. Um, he should have known and had paperwork and documentation knowing that that is not owned by regional. So anyhow, Melissa signs two quotes adding up to around eight to nine grand. I completed and I'm about to invoice and then this happens where the actual owner is like, I haven't approved anything and I have my own contract with my own company, my own generator company. And so now, basically I did work on a generator that was never approved of and was never, you know, I, I they never received a quote, et cetera, et cetera. And so right now, basically, it's a situation where, okay, I haven't talked to Gary. I tried calling him. It was on a Friday when this happened, so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to hound him. Like, let me let him register that he fucked up let him brainstorm, figure out some ideas on what he's going to do, um, and then we'll go from there. And so basically there's like three options. There's Gary calls the admin of Miami Surgery Center, apologize, says, listen, you know, you had a water pump leak. We got, that was an emergency. So you would have had your company take care of that leak anyways. And I guarantee you, my price, portable generator services, is going to be better than, than theirs because they're an OEM, you know, dealer. And um, so, 
and she could say, okay, fine, we will pay for that. Um, and he could also ask, obviously, for the load bank and the oil change. Now, I don't see her paying for that because she's got and pay, she's paid for that in her own contract with the other company. Unless, you know, they were going to deduct money from the contract, yada, yada, yada. So, she could be nice and do that. She could say, sorry, no, you did not ask for approval. Like, this is just ridiculous. I'm not paying you guys shit. Okay, that could happen. Larry... And, and if that does happen, then it kind of comes down on Larry and uh, the company he works for, right? So, like, Larry has to uh, just figure out what the hell's going on or we're going to be going to court. I don't want to go to court. But I think I have a solid case in the sense that, you know, I emailed both of them. They wrote approved. Um... And so, isn't that shitty? Like, I didn't do really anything wrong. I sent in the paperwork. It was filled out with the right information. And Melissa, being so busy, and she takes care of me. Like, she brought me into the company to do service. She really looks out for me. And I appreciate that so much. Um, <laughs> but being real, like, we can't deny that, you know, she overlooked the address she could have asked about the name but like I said very easy to just be like oh they're just you know they're just making it easier to type and just getting rid of the regional for when they're emailing um, but she should have caught that and um, but she didn't and ultimately Gary is the company hired by Miami Surgery Center as their life safety company and he asked and and got the quotes for the job so ultimately it's him if he would have had good documentation and known what the hell he's doing he would know that Miami Surgery Center is completely different than Miami regional and um, so we'll see what happens like I'm really not happy um, I need that money like pretty badly in this point of my career especially since it's the slow season it's going into the slow season I really really want that nine grand as a cushion in case I'm like not working at all even though I am doing side jobs doing the electrical charging station jobs which I've been making stupid money on but still I busted my ass for that you know I had to pay 600 to rent the load bank the water pump was thousands that I put down and so it's not just 5,700 for the quote it's 5,700 I mean, yeah, so it is that, but still, like, it's a shitty situation, and we will see what happens on Monday. Um, like I said, I wanted to, like, freak out on Gary and, and be like, dude, and then I realized that's not going to get me anywhere. Like, let me let him f realize that he fucked up. I hope he did realize, because he's, he might not have even... You know, he might not even be aware of this whole thing, even still now, which is just annoying. Like, he's he's got to, you know, pay a little bit more attention. Um, but, yeah. He, um... He, uh, basically is owing me the load bank and oil change job and the you know, almost $6,000 water pump job. I do have the emails where I sent them the quote and I put down like, do you approve? And then 
Melissa would respond in another response email saying approved. So, and Larry was in the emails. So anyhow, Melissa and I were talking when, you know, when it all clicked, that's when I told her, I'm like, oh, fudge, like, no, 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 like, anything but this, like, I basically did a huge paying job, and it wasn't even approved by the right person, or even house, like, oh my god, so anyhow, that was my day on Friday, um, Heading home from, uh, what is it, Port Charlotte right now. I'm about an hour away from home. But uh, write in the comments what your thoughts are. Isn't that kind of messed up? I mean, the only thing I'm going to improve on now is when I send a quote, I need a signature on the actual paper and send back so that someone's liable. Um, even though I've been told by many friends that are either lawyers or have, you know, family members that I am set in stone. If I were to go to court, I would win with all of the emails validating that I, you know, they needed me and wanted me to quote that address for a job and then giving me that address to go work at, um, et cetera, et cetera. So... But yeah, no, nah, it's a shitty situation and, and, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, you know? It's eight to nine thousand dollars for a company to cough up is not going to be a pretty sight. Um, so, anyhow, that was my weekend. Hope y'all have a good weekend. And, um... I will catch you on the next video. Bye.